Hey guys, back at Observatory Park. Um, this is kind of an interesting feature over here that, uh, that I want to show you in a second. But first, I wanted to show off, and we're going to go into the shade now and fuck the, fuck the image up. But I wanted to show off my pet Mullen. And the two awesome blossoms that just popped out. Um, this is kind of my pet Mullen here. Uh, I take a little bit now and then for my personal use, and uh, and really I I do just enough like pruning on these uh, thinning to really turn them on, and uh, they're doing great this year. They look awesome. So I want to come over here. I got a couple of things that I don't know what the hell they are, and if anyone can help, that'd be great. We're gonna go into the sun and fuck the image up again. But I'm not familiar with this stuff. I don't know what that is. So, and I'm not even sure if it'll be identifiable on the video. Because uh, since I changed the lens in this thing, my image quality has gone to shit. I think I need to reset the fixed focus and then uh, stick it in place with a piece of scotch tape which is what the manufacturer recommended but and then there's this thing here and I don't know what the hell this is either um, it's got some it's got some thorny structures at the base of the leaves and, and I don't know if you can see them there but it's a very interesting shrub I just don't know what the hell it is, and uh, I might have some footage of this when it's in flower, but I don't think so. Um, and the flowers are really distinct, but kind of hard to describe, and they sort of stand up, and they're kind of like a whitish, almost a whitish fuchsia or some shit, sort of, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I don't know what the hell that is, and... I don't know what the hell this is. So if anybody has any idea, um, what is this? Oh, it's just something else that was growing in there too. It's since expired. And this dogwood is in bloom. It's going fucking crazy in front of... Uh, this bench here, I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. Jerome Joseph Dix, 12, 29, 48 to 1, 5, 16. Visionary steward of the Russian River and Mendocino County's natural, natural heritage. Yeah, so this is one of the old school guys that's been looking after our fish. Which is pretty important. And this dogwood is just fucking crazy. But I wanted to climb up on this bench and see if I could give you sort of the overview of what's going on here. Um, there's a lot of old hippies that, uh, that came here in the 60s and had hippie kids. And, uh, and of course there's a lot of uh, Native Americans in the area and they've got some interesting spiritual beliefs but uh this is sort of like a i guess a, a meditation zone here and it's uh it's laid out in a star shape with these different paths and uh, this is when i wish i had a drone but i don't and just various messages and doodads cast into concrete pavers and embedded in the landscaping which is uh, some of it's actually very cool okay Keep, hold on, sweep, 
something the shield to graph to graph the revelations so yeah that's um that's pretty new age i guess I'm just going through this thing in no particular direction or order. There's, I'm not going to torture you with the full, the full tour of it. But some of it is pretty deep. Some of it's illegible. Rainbow showers come. The pale afternoon sun spelled s-o-n um i don't know what that is still in a misty sky and a lot of grasses there's grasses and sedges this is upland sedge this is actually a very <clears throat> A very important plant culturally. Oh, and there's a snail in there. This is a very important plant to the uh, the local native, and it's very important to the local watershed too. It's, it's mainly uh, it's mainly a riparian. It, it's on river beds and creek beds, and uh, tends to hold things together, keep shit from getting washed out. Oh my God, what do we got here? The bee flies around looking for honey to drink. Summer is so sweet. Well, and we have bees too, so that's pretty bitchin'. We'll take a look at the, the center here. So some of you may recognize this motif. But it's an interesting combination of uh, spiritual outlooks here. We have the turtle, turtle earth mother and uh, surrounded by, by signs of the zodiac. So I guess depending on what month it is, it's turtles all the way down, right? So anyway, I saw the I saw the torrent sedge, and I was like, "Well, where the fuck is the upland sedge?" And I'm not seeing any right offhand, but I'll bet I can find some. There it is, right there. Okay, actually, here it is. So this stuff, um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with. Uh, with pomo basket weaving. Uh, the natives in this area, they're known as pomos now. And um, they're generally accepted to be the world's finest basket weavers. And, uh, and these sedges, the roots of these sedges are what they use. And um, I got a cool story about that. I'll tell you sometime uh, where I uh, was working on a Environment, environmental Protection Agency grant with the local native tribe to uh, to develop beds of these things. So uh, that was cool, but like I said, I'll tell you that, that story later. And there's tree number three, one of my favorites. All right, I'm going to cut this off later. <laughs>